Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a little surprise for you guys. I, I get a lot of questions from people asking me what I do to whiten my teeth, how often do I do it, and if my teeth are just naturally white. And I have an answer for you guys now. I've been holding on to it for a long time, but um, I'm ready to share. I'm super anal about oral hygiene. I floss every single day, twice a day, brush three times a day, I brush after lunch to make sure I don't leave any residue or any sugar or anything sitting on my teeth. But I was starting to get a little insecure about my smile. It wasn't as white as I was used to it being. So I drink a lot of tea, a lot of coffee, and I eat a lot of candy. So <laughs> my teeth were taking a serious beating. I received an email from a company called Smile Brilliant a while ago. And basically they made a deal with me that they were going to give me the product for free. And if I liked it, I could go ahead and try it. And if I liked it, I could make a video on it. And if I didn't, I could just keep it to use and no strings attached. So I do want to put that out there. This was sent to me for free, but I'm not getting paid to give you my opinion. I'm giving you my opinion in this video and a tutorial on how to use it because I liked it and it worked for me. And I want you guys to step your smile game up too. <laughs> So like I said, the name of the company is Smile Brilliant. They're a professional at home teeth whitening company. So they give you the same results that you would get at a dentist's office, but at home, and you can use it more than just once for a lot less. What I personally really loved about Smile Brilliant is there was three, three main things that I really liked. One was that the way that it comes is actual molding of your teeth. So these are the moldings of my teeth and I'll show you how to do this on your own later on. So it came in a top and a bottom for my teeth, perfectly molded to me. And I like that because it's not just one of those strips that you put on that fall off, that come off, that taste really bad. I hate that. So I really appreciated that um, with this company. The second thing that I liked was that it came with teeth whitening and a desensitizing gel. When you get your teeth whitened, it's sucking out all the vitamins and nutrients that are in your teeth to get it white, to clean it and get it bare down, which can cause a lot of sensitivity. I personally have very sensitive teeth. I have to be careful what toothpaste I use, what toothbrush I use, what floss I use, you name it. So I was so happy when I found that they had the desensitizing gel part of the package already in there. The third thing that I really liked about Smile Brilliant was how easy and fast the whole process was from putting in your order to getting the trays to making the trays to sending them back and getting the final product. Smile Brilliant was kind enough to do a giveaway for my subscribers. So everything you need to follow and do will be in the description bar down below in a link. One lucky winner will win their own at home whitening kit. And don't worry for those of you who don't win, I'm going to have a coupon code for you to get some dollars off if you are also interested. Okay, so now that you know a little bit more about the company, how we got together, and what I'm showing you guys today, I'm gonna go ahead and do an actual tutorial showing you step by step how to go from these cute little blue trays to having an actual molding of your teeth so that you guys can get on your way to having your perfect smile. All right, love bugs. So this is what you're going to receive in the mail. It is going to come with two trays, one for your top and one for your bottom teeth. It is going to come with three blue putty and three white putty. What you're going to do is mix these together, one for each. So one blue, one white for your bottom, one blue, one white for your top. And you're going to want to work rather fast because they definitely dry a lot quicker than I was expecting, which is why it comes with a third blue and white putty, just in case you mess up. Um, so try to do it pretty fast, get it mixed as well as you can, but don't let it harden before you're able to get the impressions of your teeth. When you receive your package, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have two trays, one for your bottom row of teeth and one for your top row of teeth. You are also going to have three containers of blue putty and three containers of white putty. You are going to mix one container of blue and one container of white together until it's completely blue and there's no more white showing. Here you see me mixing the putty together until it's completely blue. I'm working rather fast because this stuff dries pretty quickly. Now I'm taking the putty and molding it into one of the trays to make my first impression. You want to make sure that the putty is completely even inside of the blue tray. Now I'm going to make my impressions being very careful to make sure that my front teeth and back teeth should enter the putty at the same time going straight up. I'm not going to wiggle the impressions or bite down. Now I'm going to wait at least two and a half minutes before removing my trays. When you're done, your trays and impressions should look something like this. Don't worry if you mess up. There's an extra set of blue and white putty if you make a mistake. Just be sure to remove the impressions that you don't want so they don't dry into the trays. 
After you are completely satisfied with both your top and bottom impressions, you are going to let them dry for 30 minutes and then rinse them with cold water, let them dry, and put them in the package. Fill out this little card with all of your information and put it into the shipping package with your trays. All right, beauties, and then you're going to receive about two weeks later a container like this with your moldings in them. You will have one for your bottom teeth and one for your top. To begin whitening your teeth, you are going to use both the teeth whitening syringe, this one, the green one, and the desensitizing gel, the purple one. You are going to twist this little bad boy off, and then you are going to line right at the top part where your teeth would be pushing up against the um, impressions. You're going to squirt a little bit all the way along the front, like so. After you've applied the gel, you're going to dry off your teeth completely with a paper towel. Do not drink or eat while you're doing this. You're going to put them in like so. You're going to leave the whitening on anywhere from 30 minutes to 3 hours. I recommend 1 hour to an hour and a half, especially if you're just starting out to see how your teeth are going to react and how sensitive they are going to be. And although this step is totally optional, I strongly recommend for anybody, especially someone with sensitive teeth, you just want to make sure you're getting all the nutrients packed back into your teeth that you took out, and this will make sure you don't have any pain and uh, sensitivity to cold or heat. Remember, no eating or drinking anything for 30 minutes after you have done your whitening and desensitizing, and then you're good to go. All right guys, that's it. If you have any questions or concerns or need any guidance on making your impressions or shipping them out, please let me know down below and I'll be sure to answer. Remember, make sure you enter the giveaway down below and if you don't win, I will have a coupon code for you. All the details will be left down below in the description bar. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any further tutorials or videos that I have coming for you in the near future. Thanks guys.